Hello, my name is Justin Humphreys. I'm Vice President of Sales here at Airstream, and I'm coming to you from our brand new state-of-the-art training center here in Jackson Center, Ohio. And uh, I couldn't be more thrilled to be here and walk through the features of the Interstate 24 GL. It stands for Grand Lounge. This has the most seating of any interstate that we produce today. And I'm gonna walk you through uh, several of the features here. You'll notice right away, this is a Mercedes Benz. We get the Mercedes van built as you largely see here, and then we upfit the interior. So we're really not building any of the box. So a lot of what you're gonna see here today is Mercedes. But I'll caution you, if you're looking at a B van or this segment of product, make sure you really look at the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter options. Sprinter doesn't know if you're gonna be a commercial application or a high-end RV. And as a result, they have over 500 options that you can, you can actually put on a van this size, which is extraordinary. At Airstream, we like to select every option we possibly can. Our customers expect the best, and that is why you'll hear us say, this is best in class, because with all the options that we select combined with the high-end upfit that we produce, uh, we feel it really is best in class. So let's start in the front here. We're really, you see the Mercedes-Benz emblem. Um, and let me highlight a few of the features that we select that not every manufacturer selects. For example, right away, you'll see some sensors here in the front bumper. They're also in the rear. These are parking sensors. If you're tailgating, if you're going camping, if you've been parking it at your house and you're pulling up uh, close to a structure, it'll really let you know how far you are from that uh, vehicle or building. Great feature to have. You can't really see it here. Uh, if you were here with me, you'd be able to see it. These tiny little lines in the windshield. What are those? It's a heated windshield. So in the wintertime, you have some ice, it knocks it off quickly. Even in the summertime, when fo things fog up, it'll knock off the fog uh, really quickly. It's really a safety feature and convenience feature, but it is a heated windshield. When we select that heated option, it also heats your seats. So if you're anything like me, getting older, back starts to get sore, it's really nice to turn on that heat and really warm up your back as well. In the windshield here, you'll notice a little box. That box is actually doing a, several other safety features. It's got lane assist. So if you start drifting, it's gonna notify you, hey, you're drifting in the lanes. It's a safety, uh, great safety feature. And then it also has a uh, sensor for collision avoidance. So if you're coming up on another vehicle, it will help apply the brakes if you're in an emergency situation. A lot of these advanced features are found on Mercedes-Benz cars. They've been applied to the vans, but it is an option on the vans. Airstream selects those options. Um, coming around the front here, a couple things. This is actually a step well if you're trying to get up and cleaning uh, the windshield. It's really convenient. And then also you'll notice this added detail. This is a tool part by, uh, by Airstream. Not every manufacturer does this, we do it. It adds some, some weight to the front. It's a real nice design element. Uh, we've even put in the Airstream uh, brand there so you know, people know it's an Airstream. Another feature that we pick an option, quite frankly, for Mercedes-Benz is an upgraded LED headlight. Not only do they look cooler, have better design aesthetics, but it's gonna light up the road a lot better at night. Again, also uh, as a safety feature um, for when you're using this van. One of my favorite features, because I've used these vans and I need it, is side vision cameras. They're located right here in the side view mirror. And when you hit your turning signal to change lanes going down the highway, it'll highlight the entire side that you're turning into on the interior monitor. A great safety feature. These vans can be really big and long, so it's nice to know that the lane is clear. Uh, Alcoa aluminum rims, it's something that we do here at Airstream. Uh, we do not use the stock Sprinter wheels. Uh, this has a wonderful finish. It makes it very easy to clean and they're lighter weight, um, better performing wheels, a huge upgrade there as well. That's all standard here at Airstream. This is a Sprinter van. It's, it's originally intended for commercial uses. What we've done is actually standard equipment on this coach is to put air ride. So this is gonna have air ride in the back. It auto adjusts and you can actually manually adjust uh, well as well if you're going into a high departure angle, you can actually raise and lower it a little bit more depending on what you need. That is standard equipment on this vehicle. As we go down this entire side, this is really the utility portion of the van. You'll notice um, a lot of these elements blend into the van itself. These are water fills, city water fill. If you're at a campground, you would hook your hose. 
Um, these are furnaces. You have showers. You also have the dump station. Now, dumping is not always the best thing to talk about. They make movies about dumping RVs, but it is uh, something you need to do. I really love what Airstream has done. This is uh, what we call a macerator pump. So if you kind of figure it's like a uh, garbage disposal at your house, taking the contents of that waste tank, chopping it up, and then it has a pump, so it'll pump it out. And that's opposed to the RV standard operation where there's a huge hose, it's gravity fed, you're working those unfortunate contents into a, a black tank somewhere. This is a much cleaner operation. In addition on an RV, you have to open up the, the valves to be able to dump the tank. So many of our competitors, that's a manual uh, valve opening. You have to get down on your hands and knees and you have to open that. What we have here is power knife valves. So if you're dumping the black or gray tanks, you just hit a power knife valve, it opens it up, and then the macerator pumps it right out. Super easy. If you got bum knee like myself, it's a whole lot easier to operate this dump station than what a lot of competitors do. And it blends in nicely. You're not highlighting these huge um, uh, pipes coming out of the bottom, and it's a lot more protected on the outside. So fantastic system here that, uh, that works well, um, easier to use, and uh, is very clean. You'll notice even on the generator exhaust, we have put a chrome tip on it. So we really try to match the other chrome elements where we can with the, uh, the, the equipment on board. So this 30 amp plug, if you're camping in a campground or have access to power, this will run the entire coach. If you're off the grid, you don't have a connection, the generator will run the entire coach, air conditioner, everything you need. Um, so it's fantastic. So circling the back, a ton of stuff we need to talk about here, but it actually has a 5,000 pound hitch. You can't see it today because we cover it with a really nice tooled cover. If you're not using the hitch, you don't want to look at the hitch. However, if you need a hitch, simply remove it and you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. If you've got some jet skis or some ATVs, you have that ability to do so. Also, look up top, there's actually two cameras. One camera is Mercedes-Benz camera for all the automotive feature, 360 view, bird's eye view, which is, again, a great safety feature and an added option that we select. The other um, camera is the Airstream camera. So what we've done is we've taken the rear view mirror uh, where it's traditionally located and we put a monitor and that monitor is tied to that camera. So you can always keep it on or you can turn it off. But the reason I really like it is when I'm driving down the road, it's very natural to look there and see what's behind you. You can do that on this uh, vehicle. A lot of our competitors, they'll keep that camera tied to the monitor in the dash. That's very unnatural. You're taking your eyes off the road looking down. I love this. I think it's a great feature to highlight and it's a, it's a safety feature. As you open the back, there's uh, some great things to talk about. First off, um, nice cool day and you wanna keep the doors open, but you don't want to, to let the breeze in, but you wanna keep the bugs out. Uh, easy to do with an Airstream Interstate GL, 24 GL. This screen is powered, comes right down, um, keeps the bugs out, but keeps a nice breeze going through it. I love that. Um, also a nightshade uh, to give you added privacy will come down to uh, block the, these windows, give you some privacy and to reduce the light coming in. And then look at the amount of storage underneath. You could fit several suitcases down here. Um, really opened up, ton of storage on this 24 uh, GL. And then this sofa also turns into a bed and it's all powered and it will come down. Now, because that comes down, you'll actually notice back here, there's a cubby on each side with USB ports. If you figure you're sleeping, need a place for your phone, um, you can put it right in here and charge it. Really, really smart and our designers have really laid that out nicely. Uh, and then I mentioned it up front, but here are these parking sensors in the back as well. Um, definitely an expensive feature for Mercedes-Benz, but one that can save you a lot of money in the long run by not hitting things. Now let's get to the patio side. If you're tailgating, if you're camping, you want a grill, um, you want to have the awning out, uh, this, is, this is the highlight area here for you. So, uh, underneath here is the LP connection. You can actually take a grill, there's a quick connect, so you can actually uh, use the grill based or using the LP on board on the motorhome. You also have outlets. They're tied into the inverter or the generator, whichever's available, um, so super easy to use. And then the van door. This is something that we select from Mercedes-Benz. Again, it's a very 
um, uh, expensive option, but these are commercial vans. These doors are extremely heavy. So just pull the handle and it's all powered. It goes out, the step automatically comes out and it's really easy to use. So now you're, you're, you're tailgating, you're camping and you need a reprieve from the sun, no problem. You extend the awning at a push of a button. So the awning is the largest you can get, and there's a few things I like to highlight about the awning. Number, number one is how strong it is. There's actually three awning arms. Some of our competitors buy cheaper awnings with two arms. Over time, as it bounces from wind and usage, you're really gonna be happy you got three arms. Uh, the second thing I like to highlight is it actually has LED lights at the end of the awning. So early morning, late into the evening, you can actually light up this entire space with that light. And it's really nice, it's above you, it's not too um, much in your face, and it's also got a dimmer switch. And then on the back, you'll notice a little box. It's actually a seismic sensor. And what this awning, is awning smart. So if you walk away from it and it's extended, the wind picks up, it'll measure how much it's bouncing up and down. Once it hits a certain level, it'll bring it up automatically so you won't have to worry about it being damaged. Uh, we talked about the back of the coach and how the screen keeps the wind in, but the bugs out. The same thing can be said with this patio screen door. Easy to use, looks really sharp, keeps that bug uh, intrusion from getting in and also really opens up um, and, and allows that cross ventilation. So that's the, the side of the unit in the patio of this 24 GL. I'm gonna show you the interior. What makes the GL unique? This is really a great touring model and for going tailgating and, and, and involving lots of people. So let's go inside and we'll take a look. Now we are the, in the interior of the Interstate 24 GL. And we have got a lot to talk about up front here with Mercedes-Benz. First of all, you will notice right away, this is not your father's Sprinter van. This has got all the latest and greatest features from Mercedes-Benz cars, including this incredible dash. Let's walk you through a few of these features, these creature comforts. First off, I'm six foot three, and in a lot of B vans in this category, and our competitors, a lot of them will build a ceiling above your head, and it really encloses you in, and you don't have as much headroom. Um, we don't here at Airstream, this is all open up top. So right away, for me, I've got a real open feel on this, uh, on this coach. Now, uh, you'll notice the thick uh, steering wheel. It really feels like an S-Class. You have all of the smart controls right on the wheel from the volume of the radio to phone operations here through the Bluetooth, all of your cruise control settings. Um, it's just the adaptive cruise control and how far you are from the vehicle in front of you. It's all right here at your fingertips because ultimately we want your hands on the wheel. Uh, we want you to be safe and want you to feel comfortable driving this motor home down the road. You'll notice right away the infotainment center comes from Mercedes-Benz. And just like everything else, it's become a lot smarter. So uh, right away, you can actually have voice activated requests while you're driving, again, to keep your hands on the wheel. So if I wanted to go to navigation, I would just ask them to do that. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Navigation. Immediately, I'm gone right to navigation. Now I can tell her where I need to go. Um, or if I want to listen to the radio, hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Radio. And now I've got the radio on. So it's all of these voice activation features are really designed with you in mind to keep your hands on the wheel, and make sure uh, that you're safe. So uh, again, uh, this could be a commercial vehicle, as I stated earlier from Mercedes-Benz. This could be a luxury RV, as is the case here. So um, what's nice is Airstream selects all of those options I was telling you about. One of them is powered seats. So you no longer have manual seats. Trust me, these are commercial chairs. They're tough to move around, to go up and down. Now to push of a button, you have all of those uh, features right at your fingertips. It's also got three memory settings. So you and your partner both drive the vehicle and one small, one short, no problem. You set your uh, seat the way you like it. You hit memory just like your car and it remembers it. 
those features do not come standard with the Mercedes-Benz. That's something Airstream selects from Mercedes-Benz um, to add to the vehicle. Remember earlier I shared with you the power door. There is the power door button right here. So if you're sitting in the driver's seat, you don't have to go to the door and slide it like the manual ones offer. You just hit a button and you're good to go. Um, a few other things to point out here is you'll notice there's two radios. Why would we have two radios? Well, I'm glad you asked. So the second radio is when you're parked. You don't have to have the ignition in, uh, on for the van. You, now you're camping, right? So you really don't want to turn on the chassis. So we have a radio right up top here that are tied to the speakers in the back. So that's why we have two radios here at Airstream. Again, it's an added convenience for the customer. It costs more because we're adding a secondary radio, but I think in the end you'll find it's a, it's a lot better experience when you're camping. Uh, some other features here. I mentioned when we were in the back of the coach and I showed you the two cameras. Uh, one camera is for all the Mercedes features up front um, here with the Mercedes um, information. The second camera is going to be for this monitor right up front. That monitor is right where your rear view mirror would typically be, so it's very natural. Again, when you're driving, I'm looking up here to see the, uh, the rear of the coach. I'm not looking down here where a lot of our competitors place the, uh, the camera. Also, when I turn on the uh, turn signal, that side of the vehicle will pop up right there. Again, very natural place to look Push button start, uh, that's something new. All of this is really new for Mercedes. This is just the second year this new generation chassis has been out, but you have the power start uh, right here. Uh, we also have some warning lights. If you have awnings out or other things out, it will actually warn you. So we're trying to make this as easy to use as we possibly can. I had mentioned the heated windshield, uh, that operation is right here so you can heat your windshield if it's foggy or frosty either one it'll clean it right up uh, one other thing i really love what sprinter did is these obviously you have the sun visor and mirrors but it's also a great place for storage so if you really want to hide some things away up top uh, you can do so here and then down here as well and then uh, the germans got it got it right with the amount of cup holders us americans we like to have our drinks You've actually got two on each side in the middle, and you have an additional one down in the doors. So plenty of area for uh, your soft drinks, bottle waters, whatever you need on those long trips, because hopefully you're out on the road enjoying one of these uh, motorhomes. Um, there's actually cup holders up here as well. So there's two on each side. Um, that is the, the front of the coach. Now we're gonna step back and make our way back on what really makes the 24 GL unique, which is the seating. Okay, let's uh, make our way back uh, to the coach. But before I go any further, notice this seat just turned around. It's completely swivels and you have two seats in the back. That's what makes the GL a grand lounge. You can really lounge in this vehicle. Uh, and what some people really like about these recliners is they have child seat tethers. So if you need a child um, seat, um, you have a grandchild, you have a, you have a child, you can bring the kids with you. We have two of those seats in this vehicle so the kids can hit the road with uh, you as well. Notice there's a mounting plate right here. This is a table. What a great place to sit around, play some cards, have a cocktail, um, tailgate, camp, whatever you'd like. It's a real great lounging area up front. And I told you about all those great cup holders that Mercedes provided. And Airstream will also provide a couple more so that you have access um, for those drinks. You also have a compartment here where you can keep some magazines or some manuals or whatever uh, else you would like to have. Okay, so before I stand up and show you some of these features of the Interstate 24 GL on the interior, I do want to talk about um, the air suspension system I mentioned when I was walking around the coach. Uh, this is something that we add through an approved aftermarket provider to the van, and it is automatic when you're driving and self-leveling. But if you were, uh, you know, if you're leaving a campground and there's a sharp departure angle, you can actually manually adjust these air, uh, so this air suspension so that you can maximize your ride height. Uh, really clever design. It's something that not a lot of manufacturers do. It's quite an expensive option and it's standard on the Airstream 24 GL. 
uh, and it's right here behind the driver's seat. So I mentioned the, the table mount, but there's also, I wanna focus on this flooring. You know, years ago in RVs, we stopped putting carpets in RVs for obvious reasons, tracking dirt and sand and everything else on the interior, and we went to vinyl flooring. But it really lost that depth and design element to it. In the um, yachting industry, they have gone to this woven vinyl floor, which gives us some texture and some um, design elements, but it's so tightly woven, it's really easy to clean. So we've added it uh, as standard uh, feature on an Airstream Interstates, on all of them. Um, it's just a fantastic flooring. It's an expensive flooring because of its design, but uh, it gives it a real good design element and is very easy to clean. So trust me, I, my wife was a little skeptical when we took one out, a demo out, but it sweeps up really easily and it doesn't show footprints and dirt as easily as other kind of flat uh, vinyl material. So I wanna point out a few things up front here. Um, first being the TV. So I mentioned this whole area up front is tall and we uh, utilize the entire space. And then we have a TV here. You just pull a knob and the TV comes right down. You actually tighten it on the angle that you want. And then you can sit here and watch television while you're camping, tailgating. Um, if people in the back wanna watch TV while you're driving, you have that ability to do so. And then it stores up uh, very easily. Another area that's a very critical part of the van is this uh, monitor panel area. Now, we have a, um, a it's, it's a product um, from Firefly that's, the entire vehicle is connected. So it's a multiplex system that can monitor your tank levels. It can actually put these screens up and down in the windows. Um, it does all the lighting, the awnings outside, the undercarriage lighting, everything on one screen. And we have a few of those screens on board here, so they're always easy to access. Um, you can see your tank sizes here. You've got a 26 fresh uh, water tank, you've got a 27 um, gray water tank, and you've got a 13 gallon black uh, tank. You also see how full your LP tank is. That's gonna run your generator, uh, your, your stove top, uh, you can start and stop your generator here. This also has an auto start feature on the generator, so it'll sense um, if the batteries are going down, it'll kick back on if you've set it up that way. It will also set it up so if your temperature in your coach goes up and you have a pet here, that it'll automatically kick on, so it'll turn on your air conditioning. So very smart system, all integrated into one panel. Tons of stuff here to go through um, from lighting, uh, you can turn on any light in this vehicle uh, to the power. You can see where your batteries are, um, how charged they are, what's going on. Um, you can set quiet times for your generator if you're in an area that requires that. Um, some really good stuff. And let, let's talk about batteries. We This vehicle has two sets of batteries, if you will. You have a battery that starts your engine and... Um, that, that is up under the hood. But we also have what we call house batteries and bat those are the batteries Airstream provides. Those batteries are lithium batteries. They're 100 amp hours each. There's two of them. Um, lithium is so much better in many, many ways. Uh, in one way, you have more cycle time. So the amount that you charge it up, use it, charge it up, use it, those cycle times, you got three to 5,000 cycle times with a lithium battery. Much, much better than a, an AGM. Uh, which is a glass mat battery or even a lead acid battery. So standard equipment on this coach, two of them. We also have solar standard. Now what's interesting about the way we set up our solar differently than what others is we have one panel dedicated to that chassis battery. As I was showing you, there's lots of smart equipment in the dash that's gonna utilize that chassis battery. So you wanna make sure it's nice and full for us. If you're out camping off the grid, you know that there's always a charge going into your chassis battery. The remaining solar will go into your lithium battery pack. So you're gonna get a charge on both. Not too many manufacturers take that um, uh, approach to making sure we're utilizing all of our solar. So the, the lithium's a fantastic, it's called Battleborn, uh, great battery, and it's actually got a five year warranty with it, which is just really shows um, how they back up the, the technology. Also in this, um, in this area, there's a battery heater. So if you're in a cold temperature environment and you need to heat the lithium batteries, you can do so in here. 
There's also a monitor for your solar panel charging so you know what the sun's charging for you. There's an inverter. So what does an inverter uh, do? What an inverter does is it, it, it inverts the power from the batteries into 110 for your outlets so that you can utilize those outlets I showed you on the patio without starting your generator. Um, and so that's a nice feature to have, especially when you have those bigger lithium batteries. So, um, and then you can also in here see where your power source is coming from and some other key elements. So a lot of stuff in one compartment. What I love about this multiplex system through this panel is it takes many of the monitor panels and puts it into one screen. So a lot of our competitors, you're gonna open up, you're gonna see a ton of little individual monitors for each component on the unit, um, on the motorhome. We're gonna put all that into one screen and then give you several screens to access that information. So a lot of um, features here. I wanted to spend a lot of time on there and your dealer can actually show you firsthand how each one of these features are used. Let me point out one more thing. Look at this door. We have two steel brackets, uh, hinges. Um, if you go to a lot of our competitors, there's one and they're typically plastic. Airstream really does take the time to give incredible hardware. You'll notice too, although this doesn't lock it, it does go out of the way. So if you're walking by, you're not clipping your shirt on it. Um, but this is really a pool system. The thing really shuts tightly. So it, it doesn't have a physical lock, but it definitely keeps it out of the way. And then look underneath here. This is an extruded aluminum bottom. It looks almost like a private jet type of quality. Um, really fantastic um, uh, materials used in our cabinetry. And it wouldn't be an Airstream if we didn't put some aluminum. So this is a riveted aluminum ceiling. It's gonna last a long time. Our Airstream trailers last a long time. It's easy to clean and it's reflective. So in a small space like this, it really opens it up, which is really one of the features I like about the aluminum. As you go to the furniture, I, I talked about the child seat tethers, which is critical, but this ultra leather is a man-made material. In fact, Mercedes is putting it in a lot of their vehicles easy to clean, stain resistant, has a really soft touch, but it's very durable. So pets, keys, it's really tough to scratch the surface, but yet you get the benefit of the soft touch and feel. So it's a, uh, it's a fantastic um, product. Um, I love the two-tone uh, look here with the wood paneling on the bottom and then the, um, you know, the vinyl wrapped um, window valances. And as I mentioned before, these are all powered. So if a push of a button on the panel, you can move them all right up. So that's a lot just up here in the front. Let's go back uh, towards the back of the coach and we'll show you some features there as well. Okay, so now we're into the living quarters of this Airstream Interstate 24 GL. And I've got a lot to share with you here in the galley. Uh, you'll notice a lot of counter space, but um, when you lift these covers, it reveals other features like the sink. But when you're not using the sink, you can use it as a counter. In addition, you have a cooktop. Again, when you're using it, it's very handy. When you're not, it too can become um, counter, add a counter space. Uh, up on the ceiling, there's actually a fan. So as you are cooking, it's got great ventilation to pull this, uh, any type of uh, smells or uh, smoke out of, the, uh, out of the unit. Down below, there's two items here. You'll notice a travel lock. So we pull this out and out reveals a drawer microwave. So this microwave can be run off of your generator or short power if you're plugged in at a campground. And then when you're not using it, you just lock it so it keeps it safe. On this other um, area here is the refrigerator. Notice there's a travel lock there as well. And it is an all electric refrigerator. Uh, pretty cavernous for the size. You can fit quite a bit in there. But uh, what I like about this refrigerator is it's a marine grade refrigerator. Why is that important? Most RV manufacturers are using an LP refrigerator. And when you have an LP refrigerator, you have to vent it on the, on the outside. So it's another um, hole you have to cut into your beautiful Mercedes van. And it's something we don't have to do here because it's all electric. Uh, the other thing that I like about these all electrics, on the LP refrigerators, you have to be level. These don't, these in the marine, industry. If you can imagine a yacht on the water, you're constantly moving. You're never really level. Um, and you know, on a smaller van like this, sometimes you can't be exactly level depending on where they park you at the game. 
So uh, this will work whether you're level or not. Keep that in mind as you're looking at uh, B-Vans in this space. Uh, this is a great feature for that, something that I really like. Their designers, really smart with the amount of storage. They actually have a place for your silverware in this small uh, environment. Some other space, <laughs> I'll tell you, these drawers are, uh, are critical with the amount of storage it, get, it provides. And then a little tip out for some um, cleaning supplies or, or uh, rags, um, other types of uh, tools. I, I showed the overhead storage up front earlier, but take a look at this bank of overhead cabinets from front to back. Just a tremendous amount of space to put plates, cups, uh, food, um, anything you want, blankets, uh, tons and tons of storage. So then across, so, so one thing to keep in mind on the uh, the grand la the GL, this model, is the kitchen is on the driver's side. Um, on the Grand Tour, the GT, it's a different motorhome, not this one. The kitchen's on the campsite side. That's a big difference between the two layouts. And what's really driving that is when we commit to these two seats up front, so four total captain's chairs, um, the way we arrange this is we put the kitchen on this side um, and we put the bathroom over here. So this is the bathroom. It's what we consider a wet bath. So you might, if you've traveled to Europe, there's lots of wet baths because they take these old buildings and convert them into new modern spaces. So you want the comforts of a modern bathroom, but you really don't have the space. So what that means is it's all one. So you shower and you in the toilet, it's all in one space. Um, what I like about this, this is a small space. I'm a pretty big guy. I've used this bathroom. I can attest to it. It is a tight fit, but it's very usable. What I like about our shower is it's a seamless shower enclosure. So over time, as you use this, you don't have the seams where water can attack and eventually um, get through. Uh, easy to clean. And uh, you also have a soap dispenser to keep um, the containers of soap, shampoo, and whatnot from uh, taking up additional space. So as we step back, one uh, incredible benefit of the, of the GL, this floor plan, is the amount of seating. There's actually nine seat belted locations throughout. The four up front with the captain's chairs. You have two side um, seats here, and then you've got three seats right across the back. So where's the bed? That's what a lot of people ask. Well, all of these are powered and they come together to make one great big area of sleeping in the back. It's actually really comfortable. Designers took a lot of time in making sure that we use the right foam back here to give you a nice, comfortable uh, sleep. I mentioned the uh, the amount of storage here. This back one is the biggest one yet. Look at the how cavernous this is. I put a huge suitcase back here when I went on a road trip. Um, it really can hold a lot of gear. Uh, this is also where the pre-wire is for our connected um, antenna. So what is that? So if you want to add Wi-Fi or you know, mobile internet, uh, we offer an antenna. You just have to add the router and all the pre-wires already done. The antenna's there. So if you wanna use it, great. If you don't, it's there. It gives you that flexibility if you wanna use it. Um, but otherwise, uh, just a ton, ton of storage uh, here in the back. It's really, really great. I mentioned that touch screen uh, up front in the coach, and there was also a touch screen right next to the door. There's a touch screen on this wall as well. So if you're sleeping and you need to turn on a light or check something, you can do it. So there's three touch screens in a small 24 foot motorhome. Might be a little overkill, but they're really in places you need them. When you're outside without coming in the coach, you can, you can access it. When you're inside lounging, you can access it. And when you're in back in the bedroom, you can access it as well. There is a TV back here as well. So if you wanna watch TV at night, no problem. Um, or if somebody's traveling, you got all these seat belted positions, you can actually turn something on while you're driving down the road as well. So a lot of flexibility and more cup holders. We've got two cup holders on each side. So as people travel cross country, uh, the people in the back can be just as comfortable as the people in the front. One thing to keep in mind, when you are traveling, and let's say you have a bunch of people back here, you can actually turn on the generator and run this roof air conditioner. So the air conditioner is right above my head here and it can do um, a fan or AC. So sometimes it's just the uh, movement of air when you're traveling, it's nice, or you just, it's a really hot sunny day and you've got 
you know, four or five people sitting back here, you want to keep them cool, no problem. Turn on your generator, you can run it going down the road, and this will cool them down very, very nicely. You know, we like to use LED lighting. As I'm talking to you, I'm looking at these LED lights, I can touch them. You know, five years ago, you couldn't touch this light. They were very hot, they used a lot of energy. These, these use very minimal energy and is really going to maintain your batteries really, really well. And the other thing is I talk about air conditioning in here. Look how tinted these windows are. Number one, it's going to give you privacy, but number two, it's really going to keep the sun out. And those shades I showed earlier, you shut those, it really keeps this nice and cool. And uh, it's actually a little extra insulated barrier when you put the shades down um, too. USB ports all over the place. So if you've got all your mobile devices to be charged, you're fine. Um, we've got temperature sensors. So when your um, AC is on, it's monitoring uh, the temperature uh, in, the, in the unit as well. And then uh, speakers. So that sound system, I, I shared how we add a secondary radio. You have speakers back here. So as people are traveling and you've got guests in the back, they can hear the radio just as well as those people in the front. So that's the interior of the 24 GL. Keep in mind, we have five day core options. Uh, the one that you saw here today is the Lux White interior. We also have a collaboration with Tommy Bahama that's just a stellar interior. You can go to our website and see more information on those day cores, or you can contact your local dealer and see them there as well. So thank you for your time today. We really appreciate you checking us out. And uh, hopefully you can go to a dealer soon and see one in real life. I think you'll even be more impressed. Thank you.